I would say that okay, this is the bore well which you have identified, or the dug well. Now what you have to do is maybe go to the bore well point. You go to this particular point, and <clears throat> maybe from the bore well point, go fifteen feet, or if you are not having any tape, travel about fifteen steps. Okay. from the borewell point travel about 15 steps uh, and then maybe this 15 feet or 15 steps as the radius you draw a circle okay you draw a circle something like this hmm? so <coughs> maybe you can mark it with uh, if it's just an open land you can just mark it with a stick or maybe if you have something <coughs> where you can mark it you can mark it in that particular manner now identify one location <coughs> suppose uh, suppose you are having your uh, phone in that you have your compass and uh, if you are having the compass just orient yourself at this particular point locate the gps means lat long of this point lat long of this bore well and maybe identify the north direction i am assuming the north direction to be somewhere here this is the north direction now <coughs> go down to the <coughs> east side this is our north go down to the east corner this is our east corner okay now <coughs> stand at the east corner you know that the bore well is here you know the bore well is here stand at the east corner maybe facing <coughs> south <coughs> maybe facing south with your rods in the search position with your rods in the search position <coughs> so you have marked a circle you have marked the circle in over here you have identified the north direction go down to the east side maybe from your compass which you are, you are having already with the compass which you are having go down to the east direction once you have been to the east direction then <coughs> over there have the rods in the search position and start walking so you have the rods in the search position and start walking along this circle start walking along this circle so you are walking with the rods along this circle so you come down to the east point and you start walking towards south then west then north then east so maybe you are traveling in the cardinal direction so from east to west so we are in the nor northern hemisphere find your east side and you are standing at uh, on the east on this particular circumference of the circle which you have drawn and you are holding the rod in the search position you are holding the rod in the search position and now you are traveling along the circumference towards south and then towards west and then towards the north so we will we'll be having this the circle we are traveling from east towards west but through south because we are in the northern hemisphere so we will be traveling in this particular manner now <coughs> when we are traveling or when we are walking along this particular part i get the first deflection i get the first deflection somewhere here i get the first deflection somewhere here this is my first deflection okay i again hold my rod in the search position and travel a little, little bit further and i get the second deflection somewhere over here okay now this is the second deflection now i again go in my search position and then travel i travel to the south along the circumference i travel in over here and at this particular point i get one more deflection this was the first one this was the second one this would be the third deflection the third deflection i will be getting i travel a little bit further and i get the fourth deflection okay i am getting the fourth deflection so <clears throat> maybe 
along the circumference I am traveling. So this was my first deflection. This was my second deflection, which is indicating that there may be a vein. I travel further. I get the third deflection. I get the fourth deflection. I go towards west and travel a little bit further. And somewhere over here, I get the fifth deflection. Somewhere over here, I get the sixth deflection. Okay. And I go further. I go further towards north. And at some particular point in this line, I get the seventh deflection. And after some time, I get the eighth deflection. Okay. Now, as I told you, whether we the groundwater vein is on this side or this side, you do not know. So, standing over here, after you have got the deflection, standing over here at this particular point, we may call that point as say A. Okay. Standing over there, if you get deflection, then you are on the vein. Similarly, go further. Standing over here, you won't get deflection here. If you go further, <coughs> after this, you may get a deflection at say point B. Similarly, go further and stand in between 5 and 6, you may get the deflection at point C. Similarly, you could get a deflection at point D. So, <coughs> we have say two veins. One is from A to C. Another one is from B to D. This will be small. Okay. B to D. Now, <clears throat> what I will try and do is maybe try and connect these two lines. So, what I have to do is I come down to my first point. I come down to the first point and assuming that this is the starting of the vein, I hold my rods in the search position and walk crisscross. Means I cross the vein, I again go come back in the S shape. So I am I am say going in this particular fashion. I am going in this particular fashion. Okay, crisscrossing, and I'll be getting deflections when I'll be crossing. I'll be getting deflections at these particular points. So wherever I am crossing, I'll be getting the deflections. Okay. So now in this manner, I have to join these points, wherever deflections are there, just mark those points on the ground, mark those points on the ground. Similarly, go on till you get down till the other part means from here till the sixth point from one to six, you just go crisscross, crisscross, as you might have seen in my video, just go crisscross and go on marking those points along the line okay that is the edge one of vein from a to c that is the edge one from vein a to c so you go crisscross in this particular manner similarly from point two to point five try and going uh, try going crisscross and you'll be finding that this vein can be something like this on similar lines you travel from the point three to the point 8 and you will be getting say maybe the deflections along this line somewhat like this. Similarly from here if you just travel along the other side you will be getting deflections somewhat like this. Okay. So in this way you have got two veins. So this is a vein which is vein 1 which is A to C. <coughs> vein 1 that is a to C. Do the same exercise from 3 to 8 and from 4 to 7. The same exercise you do it on both the sides. Once you have done that particular exercise, then what you have done is you have identified <coughs> that this will be a vein which is feeding this bore well or well. Similarly, there will be another vein which is feeding the bore well. Now, as an ideal condition, I have shown you two veins. But there may not be two veins at your particular place. But if the borewell is pumping water and is yielding 
or the dug well is showing that there is water, that means there has to be some feed, some vein feed, which is say giving water to that particular location. So from that point of view, identify those that line. So your major task is to identify that line. Once the two edges have been identified from one end to the other end, automatically you'll be finding that you are just having those edges and you can see from far off. Suppose you are standing at A, you can and just looking at your bore well, you can easily identify point C, which is there. Similarly, if you are standing at B, you can see the bore well point and you can identify the location D. That would be the way in which through through which the water is trying to flow. So in this way, what we have done is we have identified the groundwater veins physically on ground as per the program which we have done earlier. So we have identified those particular veins. 